so hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i will be covering problem g that was even odds or from round 817 uh, which was a day 4 round yeah so let's start with the problem let me open my drawing pad so in the problem we have been given an integer n right where n is less than 10 the power 5 and we have to construct an array of size n so something like a1 a2 a3 so on up to n and the array had to follow the following conditions that is the first condition was all the elements ai should be less than 2 to the power 31 uh, the second condition is all the elements ai should be distinct and the third condition is that zor of all the elements on odd indexes should be equal to zor of all the elements on the even indexes right so these are the three conditions that the array needs to follow so that is the problem so how can we do this so as you can see the first condition is really not that important so we can ignore the first condition for now and just focus on the second and third condition right so let's try to solve this so the solution we will only care about the second and third condition so we have the second condition and the third condition that is ai should be all different distinct and the second condition is that zor of a odd should be equal to zor of a even if you think about it, the third condition is really easy to achieve, right? It is really easy to make zor of all the odd elements equal to zor of all the even elements. The only thing that uh, the only thing that is stopping us is the second condition, right? If there is not a second condition, we can easily achieve the third condition. So we can ignore the second condition for now. So we will for the, for the time being we will ignore the second condition and just try to solve for the third condition. And after we have solved it for the third condition, we will try to extend our solution to include the second condition right so that will be our approach so the approach is just solve it just solve it for a third condition and then later on try to include second condition right so we will ignore second condition for now so let's try to solve it for the third condition only so if you try to solve it for the third condition uh, we have two cases the first case is when your n is equal to even so you have something like a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 so that means your zor of a odd has to be equal to zor of a even so that means a1 zor a3 zor a5 has to be equal to zor of a2 a4 and a6 as you don't have to follow, follow the second condition anymore, you can just assign same values to both the sides. So you can assign 1 to a1, 1 to a2, uh, 2 to a3 and 2 to a4. Similarly, 3 to a5 and 3 to a6. As both the sides are equal, right? Both the sides are equal. So their zor will also be equal, right? So you can easily fulfill the third condition. That is when your n is equal to even. So when your n is equal to odd, when your n is equal to odd, you have something like let's say n is equal to 7. So you have a1, a2, a3, a4, a5, a6, a7. Your zor of a odd has to be equal to zor of a even. So you will get a1, zor a3, zor a5, zor a7 is equal to zor of a2, zor a4, zor a6. So you can assign, uh, you can again do the same thing. You can assign one to a three and one to a two. Uh, you have you have to assign two to a five, two to a four, three to a seven, and three to a six. Right? Again, as you can see, both the values are same on the uh, both sides. So the zor will also be same. But the only thing is that we still have a one left. We have not assigned anything to a one. So so what can we assign to a one so that the zor is still same? So as you know, zeros or anything. Right, zeros or anything still is still equal to anything, right? So if you can assign zero to a one, right, your zor will still remain same. So one to three zor zero is, is still equal to zor of one to three, right? So your condition will be still satisfied. So you can just assign zero to a one. So in case of even, you can assign same values on both the sides. In case of n is equal to odd, you can assign same values on both the sides, and you have to assign one extra zero to one element, right? So now you are able to solve for your third condition. So now we have to extend our solution. So now you have fulfilled the first step, right? You are able to solve for your 
second condition so uh, your third condition so now you have to try to include the second condition so how can we do the following step so now let's see that so let's try to solve for our a6 example so we have a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 so we have a1 a3 a5 on, on one side and we have a4 a5 a6 on one side sorry not a4 a5 a6 it should be a2 a4 and a6 right so we again have 1 2 and 3 and we have 1 2 and 3 so now our third condition is fulfilled so how can we like uh, now we have to make the second condition true so how can we do it so we have to make these elements different right so we can choose like one side and try to make them different right so we have one two three on this side so if we can somehow make these elements different from one, one two and three and still keep this uh, and still keep the or same then our mission is fulfilled right so now we have to somehow change these one two and three right so we have to change these but still keep the ZOR same, but still keep ZOR same. So how can we do this? So to do this, we will use the condition that we will use the property of ZOR that even number of ones, even number of ones in ZOR cancel themselves, in ZOR cancel themselves, right? So if you have one, two and three, so we have one, two, and three, right? So it, it is zero, 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 so on, right? Zero, one, zero, 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 so on till, let's say this is my 30th bit. This is my 30th bit. This is 29th bit. This is my zeroth bit. So this is my three. So my three is something like this, right? So as you can see the uh, see the ZOR here is how much the ZOR here is zero and zero, right? So now we have to change these values. We have to somehow change these values and still keep the ZOR same, right? And we have to use the following uh, the the following property that even number of ones cancel themselves, right? Uh, so we can just like think of these two bits. We can just think about uh, the thirtieth bit and the twenty ninth bit. So what you can do is you can just change these two bits to one and these two bits to one right so as you can see now the elements are not one anymore the element is not one anymore it is to the power 29 plus one similarly here it is to the power 29 plus to the power 30 plus one here it is to the power 30 plus three but if you try to find the or these two ones will cancel themselves right so you will still get zero and these two ones will cancel themselves you so you will still get zero right so the ZOR will still remain same. So ZOR still remains same, right? So now you have found a method how you can like change your values and still keep the ZOR same. So now your both the conditions are satisfied. Now your now your, now your ZOR is also same and now your values are also different, right? So now your now your both the conditions are fulfilled. Now your second condition is also fulfilled. So that is the solution. So now we just need to think about some case work and how do we change these bits? How do we change these bits to keep the ZOR same? So now let's move on to the case work. So, but, but now you guys have an idea how the solution will work, right? So now you guys have a rough idea how the solution will work. So now we can just move on to the case work. So we have the solution. So first we have a value n. So there are two cases. First, when your n is equal to even, in the second when your n is equal to odd. So let's try to solve for n is equal to even and then we'll move when n is equal to odd. So when your n is equal to even, so you have a1, a2, a3, so on up to a n. You can break, break, break this into two sets, right? One is the odd set and one is the even set, both of size n by two. So you have a1, a3, so on up to this, you have a2, a4, so on, right? Size, size of the following set is also n by 2 and size of this set is also n by 2. Uh, so you can just assign the values here. You can just assign 1, 2, 3, so on, right? As uh, as we had done previously. And now you have to move, move on to the second step. So your, the, so your third condition is satisfied here. Your third condition is satisfied. So now you have to satisfy the second condition, right? 
So now there are also there are also two cases here. There are two cases. The first condition is when your n by two is equal to even, right? When your n by two is equal to even. So when your n by two is equal to even, so you have something like a one, a three, a five, so on, up to a n minus one. So you will have zero, 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 something like one zero or something. Sorry. Zero one zero 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 so on till one zero 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 so on till one one right as and and stuff like that right. So in the end you will also have zero 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 something right one zero one this whatever. Right. So as you have n by two, you have n by two terms here right. You have n by two terms here. So if you if you have n by two terms right and n by two is equal to even. You can just set the first bit. That is the thirtieth bit. You can just set the thirtieth bit to one in all the terms. You can just set these one two in all the terms, right? And as n by two is equal to even, the number of ones will be even. The number of ones will be even. So basically, they will they will cancel out. They will cancel out. And in the end, your zor is uh, so. Let's say the zor is x. It it will still remain same. So if your n by two is equal to even, you can just take the first bit and set them all to one. So that is for when your n by two is equal to even. So if your n by two is equal to odd, so if your n by two is equal to odd, you have something like this. You have a one, a three, a five. You still have the same thing, but now your n by two is equal to odd. You have zero, 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 so on. Zero, one, zero, 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 so on till zero. Uh, One zero and something at the end. Now you cannot set your first bit to one anymore, right? Because if you set your first bit to one in all the elements, right, your n by two is equal to odd, so you will have odd number of ones, and in the end you will get a one here, and in the end you will get a one in the zor, right? So your zor will change. So you cannot do the following step anymore. So you 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 have to do something different. So what can we do? So as you can see, your n by two is equal to odd. So that means your n by two minus one is equal to even. Your n by two minus one is equal to even. So what you can do is, you can take your thirtieth bit and you can take your twenty-ninth bit. You can set your thirtieth bit to one in n by two minus one elements. You can set th this to one in your n by two minus one elements, right? So these are your n by two minus one elements. So these are even. So these will cancel out. These are even. So they will cancel out. Similarly, you can set your twenty ninth bit to one in the last n by two minus one elements. So you can take your last n by two minus one elements, and you can set your twenty ninth bit to one in them. These are your last n by two minus one elements. So these will cancel out in themselves, and these will cancel out in themselves, and in the end you will get zero zero, and your zor will still remain same. That is, let's say it is x, right? So that are the steps that you can do. When your n by two is even and when your n by two is odd, so that is when your n is equal to even. So you can do the same thing when your n is equal to odd. So in the second case, you have n is equal to odd. So you can uh, like again break it into two parts. So the first set, the odd set, that is a one, a three, a five, so on up to uh, a n, and the even set, that is a two, a four, so on up to a n minus one, right? The first set will have n plus one by two elements, and the second set will have n by two elements. So, like we had had, had an example, you can assign zero to a one, and then go on assigning elements like one, two, three. Similarly, you can assign one to a two, two to a four, and so on, right? So now you have done the third condition. So now we have to like make them different to satisfy the second condition. So for that you can again do the same thing. You can check if your n by two is even. If it is even, just just set thirtieth bit in all elements. And if it is odd, uh, just set thirtieth bit in n plus one by two minus one elements. First. You can say first and twenty ninth bit in last n plus one by two minus one elements n plus one by two minus one elements. 
right so that is how it will work so that is the logic and if you guys want to see the code for this uh, first of all i will write this as an if else so you guys will have it easy to understand in the in case of facebook so you have your n if your n is even right you have n by 2 elements on both side if your n by 2 is even you set 30th bit set 30th bit in all and if your n by 2 is odd and if the n by 2 is odd set 30th bit in first n by 2 minus 1 and set 29th bit in last n by 2 minus 1 right so that is when your n is even and if your n is odd you will have two sets the first set will have size n plus 1 by 2 second will have size n by 2 and here also uh, if your n plus 1 by 2 is even if your n plus 1 by 2 is even you can set 30th bit in all otherwise if your n by 2 is odd set 30th bit in first n plus 1 by 2 minus 1 elements and set 29th bit and last n plus 1 by 2 minus 1 elements right so that will be the solution so let's move on to the code now so here's the code so i am taking my input n uh, then i have my answer vector as 0 So if n is odd, uh, then I can start from index one. I don't need to assign index zero because my index zero is uh, is zero itself. So I will start from index one and assign uh, to all the elements as j. My j will increase one one at a time, and I will skip indexes, right? So I am adding two to my indexes, so it will assign all the odd indexes uh, j, right? Uh, and similarly. I will assign to my uh, even indexes. I start from i equal to two and assign j to them as well, right? Where j will increase one at a time. Uh, for when your n is even, you have to assign index zero also. So in this case, I will start not from two but from zero itself. So I will start from zero and assign j, and the odd loop will remain same. I'm starting from one and assigning to all the odd indexes. So after I'm done assigning, that is my uh, that is my third condition is fulfilled. I have to fulfill my second condition. So then I will check if my n plus one by two uh, is odd or not, right? If it is odd, then I have to set my first n by two n plus one by two minus one elements uh, the thirtieth bit and the last n plus one by two minus elements the twenty ninth bit. If n plus one by two is even, then I can just set the thirtieth bit in all the elements, right? and in the end i can just print out the answer and that will be my solution so if you guys have a doubt or you have a better solution feel free to like join my discord server and i will be happy to answer your doubts there or any of your queries that you have so yeah that was it for this video and i will see you guys in the next one also if you guys don't know continue newton school is offering a full stack development course the course is uh, over 6 months long and it is totally based on pay after placement model and you don't have to pay anything there is zero hidden fees there is zero upfront fees and they are granting you a minimum package of rupees 5 lakhs and the average package is rupees 7 lakhs and the highest package is over rupees 26 lakhs so it is a very great opportunity also all their mentors are from top mncs like google flipkart zomato etc also they will get you placed into the top mncs as well like google flipkart zomato Uh, so uh, you can learn from the mentors that are working at those companies and you can land a job at those companies yourselves also you don't need to worry if you guys think ki yaar mujhe koi coding aati nahi hai maybe fresher mein koi bilkul nahi aata the course is over 6 months long and they will teach you from scratch so you can still sign up for this and if you guys are looking for a career in the tech field this is a very uh, this is a very great head start that you should sign up for and if you uh, want to land a job i highly Uh, I highly vouch for this, and uh, if you guys want to sign up, there will be link down below, and you can go and sign up from there. So, yeah, you know, be sure to sign up for this, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.